Okay, so that was took quite a bit of fiddling around, so I'll just try not to shine in the lenses, but I'll show you where I've disconnected it. So if you can see just in let's see if I can get it on the camera. You can see this clip that's sort of shimmering. There's three of those clips are, <clears throat> that hold the the fabric around the lens. So there's one on the bottom here, there's one on this on the inner corner, and there's one on the outside. So first of all, <clears throat> you need to I've already unclipped it, but just this between here and the surround. Separate this clip here. And then Unclip the bottom one. So get between, sort of on underneath the nose section. You can flex quite a bit. And um, get into there. With this budget tool. You sort of come in from so this sort of angle. And unclip the bottom part of the surround. Once you get that off it's quite easy then to unclip this this part and then this part. I still haven't done this side yet so now I'm going to work on just lifting this up. see through the gap underneath there should have quite a bit of clearance here and you might be able to see yep. I'll shine a light in there the clip I'm talking about it's quite difficult to see. Let's see if I can undo it. Try and get a bit more light here to help. We can't see that. See All will be revealed <clears throat> when I get this out. So get underneath there.
Okay. So that's released. Now, so let's release this bottom part of the surround. And see there that, you see that? That's loose now. Now I can just unclip. There we go. And there it is. That's the hardest part. So as you can see, you can probably see the screw holes down the bottom, the four screw holes. And then the two screws that held it at the top. If I flip this around, <clears throat> you can see these clips that are holding the fabric surrounds to the lenses. And basically what I did was get between the gap here so we went from sort of the gap underneath to try and sort of flick the bottom one off first and once the bottom one came it was quite easy for the for these other two on the top to be released That's quite stretchy material. That's the quite that bottom one took quite a bit of time to undo to unclip. I, the easiest um, side to get was probably the cable side, so I'd do the left side first because um, it was easier to separate or to bring this down than this side because we've got the lens slider here. So, <clears throat> now that we're just left with, let's see, with this part here, what I'm going to have a look at is the main board, the main PCB. So I believe that it's whatever is pressure is being applied here. You see the board is already flexing. So I think there's something there that's causing it to disconnect. So we'll see. What I might do now is plug it back in to my computer as it is now and see if I can reproduce the exactly the fault and see where on the board flexing it cause it to dis causes it to disconnect.